Good morning, everyone. Hello, Mariana, Daniel, Marcela. Happy Thursday. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Did you guys have any problems yesterday getting into your wikis that we worked on in, in class? Any issues with technology trying to get into the uh, wikis that we worked on yesterday? Nope. Nope. Okay. All right. I think we'll go ahead and get started because I want to give you uh, as much time as you need today in class to continue the activity that we started yesterday and actually have been building on since Monday as we prepare for uh, these, these interviews that we conducted uh, yesterday. Yesterday, you guys were asked to write out different questions and responses to those questions uh, from your interviews and to develop an outline so that you could list the responses and you could uh, easily see the responses to each of those questions. I'm going to share my screen because I want to show you now what we're going to do next today. We're going to build on what we did yesterday. So I'm going to go in the virtual classroom under week 11 and scroll down here. And you'll notice that we have a second wiki, and this is where we're going to work today. So yesterday, we uploaded our results from our interview. And today, we're going to take those results and start developing a paragraph based on those responses. So here the idea is to take the information. I'll go ahead and open up this reported speech. Now this is a wiki that's a little bit different than the individual wiki that we did yesterday. This wiki is just one wiki where we all are going to contribute. So when you go into this wiki, you should see this page. Now, if you if you don't see this page, let, let me know. But this is the one wiki that we're going to work on together as a whole group, both propes, and we're going to list each of our paragraphs from each of our interviews. So when you start drafting your interview, remember that this is a, a wiki, and you can edit the wiki by selecting this first tab or the second tab up here where it says edit. This will give you the uh, rich text editor toolbar that will allow you to format the text however you wish. Okay, so here's where you can edit the document. Again, we'll have one wiki for today's activity. But our objective, our, our task today is to create one paragraph and the first sentence of this paragraph should be a topic sentence. Now, what should we include in the topic sentence? Well, on, I think it was Tuesday, we had our interview guide. And let me go ahead and open up our interview guide. And see how slow this is going to be under week 11 we should have a list of all of our interview guides that we worked on and i don't know if there's a blank yeah all right so this is our interview guide so our first sentence is going to be our topic sentence and your topic sentence should include information from this first section, this top section of your interview guide. So here you can include information about the interviewee, the person uh, that you interviewed. You can either mention them by name or just include uh, you know, who they are in relation to you as a family member. You can talk about the reasoning for interviewing this person. You can talk about when you interviewed the person. You can also talk about specific topics that came up during the interview that you didn't expect, something new. This is very important. This should also be part of the 
uh, the topic sentence because essentially what you're doing here in the first sentence is telling the reader this is the general idea of this particular paragraph. Later on, you can talk about the details that, that support this topic sentence, but the, the topic sentence should include information that comes from your interview guide, primarily from this top section here as well. I don't think you need to state necessarily how long the interview lasts, but anything surprising aspects from the interview or specific topics that you covered, I would include this in your topic sentence. Okay, so a lot of this information at the top, I think I would try to organize into one uh, complete sentence. And again, I would start your paragraph with this information. When you finish your topic sentence, then you can go into the details stating uh, the responses and the questions that you were that you posed that you included in your interview. Now, in the virtual classroom for this assignment, it's called reported speech consolidated drafts. I have the instructions here, and I want to go over the list that I would like for you to what to include in this paragraph after you have presented your topic sentence. All right, so um, basically the first thing on my list here is we want to now include reported speech. I don't know if this, it was with you guys or in Prope B, somebody asked me if we needed to include reported speech in yesterday's activity. And uh, the answer to that was no, you don't have to. But now I'm gonna ask that you do include reported speech because now we're going to present our, re our results in a more of a formal type of text. So we're, we're gonna use reported speech. So you can say something like mom stated, right? And if you wanna include a direct quote, you can say mom stated, comma, quotation mark. And then word for word, what, what your mother said, and then close the quotation mark. If you wanna paraphrase what your mother said, if you wanna put in your own words, the general idea of what your mom said, that's fine. You can say, mom stated that, and then continue that sentence and with no qu quotation marks. And that would be another way of doing it where you're paraphrasing instead of direct quoting. But you can decide whether you, whether you want to direct quote or whether or not you want to paraphrase for this assignment. All right, so we need some examples of reported speech. So basically what, um, you know, whatever the person said, this is what, how you can use it. And you, of course you can use pronouns after you introduce who the person is. So you don't have to say, mom said this, mom said this, mom said this, you can mix it up. She said this, he said that, and so on. All right, so we have reported speech. Now the second part here is all the sentences, need to be either a compound sentence, a complex sentence, or a compound complex sentence. In other words, try to avoid simple sentences. You can mix it up. You know, you can mix it up between these three types of sentences, but we want to try to provide some good, um, good sentences, some complex sentences, some longer ideas in each sentence for this task. Okay, so these are the types of sentences. The next point, at least two examples of a reduced adjective clause. Okay, so a reduced adjective clause, remember that the a, an adjective clause and is also called a relative clause. Remember that the relative pronouns can only be that who and which, and remember that the relative pronoun has to function as a subject in order to be able to reduce the adjective clause. All right, so we want at least two examples of a, a reduced adjective clause. Now, if what I would suggest doing is I would try to write your paragraph first, write out your ideas, your reported speech, compound complex sentences, 
and then go back and see how you can add the reduced adjective clause so that you're not trying to write out your ideas and think grammatically at the same time. That's, that would be hard. That would be hard for anyone. So go ahead and try to write out your ideas first, complete the sentence, I mean, complete the paragraph, and then go back and see where you can find ways, appropriate ways of reducing adjective clauses or, or relative clauses. The next point, you need to have at least two examples of conditionals, okay? Conditionals. In any, uh, in any purpose, any way that you need or that you think is appropriate, you don't have to include the conditionals as questions that you asked, okay? Uh, you don't, in fact, I would suggest not doing that. I would suggest just coming up with some conditionals um, as, as, but not as the questions, not as part of the questions that you post. Because the next point, this point here, we want to try to include two examples of indirect questions. So all of you ask several questions in your interview. So you need to include in your paragraph the questions that you asked and their responses. So the questions that you asked, I want you to try to write them out as indirect questions. How can you do that? Well, here's a prompt here. I ask how. I ask, I ask my brother how he decided to open up uh, a, a restaurant. I asked him, so that's an indirect question. The direct question would be, how did you open, how did you decide to open a, a restaurant? That's the direct question. The indirect question is, I asked how he decided to open up a restaurant. Okay, so when you're, when you're presenting your questions, which is something that you need to do, introduce your questions as indirect questions. Okay, so that's one thing then try to also include conditionals at some point in your, in your paragraph, whether it's uh, you know, something that they said, something that you asked, or it's something that you reflected on. So let me, let me tell you, let me give you basically three types of sentences that you can include in this assignment. One type of sentence could be the question that you asked, the in, and you can write it out as an indirect question. Okay, so that's one type of uh, sentence that you're going to write. A second type of sentence is going to be their response. Okay, so you're going to have sentences that are only about what they what they told you. Now, there's a third type of sentence that is going to be more reflective. And it's going to be more uh, of a reflection where you're commenting, where you're explaining, you're interpreting, you're giving your opinion about the response to the question. So that's a third type of sentence that you can include, right, in this paragraph. So again, think of those three types of sentences as you're developing this idea, and these conditionals can be a part of any of those three types of sentences. All right, it might even be easier, for example, the conditionals to write out a conditional as part of your of your analysis, of your interpretation, right, of your uh, as you comment on the interviewee's responses. All right, and then uh, the last point: transitions. Try to include transitions. At least three examples of transitions. Transitions being primarily either sentence connectors or introductory phrases. All right, I'd like for you to include at least one introductory phrase and at least one sentence connector as a transition. These are going to occur at the beginning of your sentences. They're going to be transitions from the prior sentence to your current sentence. All right, so. This, these are the, the items here, the grammatical things that we want, need to focus on as you write your paragraph. I want to give you guys today the rest of today, and we're going to work on this again tomorrow in class as well uh, to draft, uh, draft your paragraph. 
right? But you should now have all of the, basically the, the ideas you should already have from yesterday's activity, right? You should have your questions written out. You should have your responses. So now it's just a matter of adapting what you listed out yesterday in outline form now and bring it into how an organized coherent paragraph. Be very careful how you organize your ideas. It, you might decide still from what you did yesterday, you might decide to change the order of how you present your ideas, which is fine. Yeah, you don't have to you don't have to write it out exactly in the same order that you wrote out your outline yesterday. Hopefully yesterday you were thinking about organization, but I want you to think again today as you develop your paragraph how you're organizing both the questions and the responses and any follow-up questions. Uh, so again, that your paragraph is easy to read, that it's coherent, and it makes sense. All right, so some of these grammatical structures, don't focus on these until at the end. Go ahead and just get your ideas out, finish the paragraph, then go back and make changes to try to account for the different grammatical structures that are listed here in our list under our instructions. So the first thing, guys, is to go into the virtual classroom. Make sure that you can access this one wiki, all right? Again, this is different from yesterday. Yesterday, each one of you, and you still do, you still have your individual wikis. Today, we have a second wiki that is one document that's gonna be shared. We're all gonna access this uh, today in class. Now, if we have some issues with wiki and all of us accessing it at once, uh, we may have to jump back to a, a a Windows document, but let's see if it works. If you guys are having issues, um, this is what I need to to know so that we can uh, we'll change. We'll we can do the Word document if we have to. But I want to try to do this with the wiki. See if we can uh, pull it off, so to speak. All right, guys. Any questions about what we're doing today? Any any questions about any of the activities that we've done before today? for this uh for this activity i have a question uh -huh. um i'm a little confused we need to put also the the things that we write in in the guide in yes the... all right so so remember the first sentence of our paragraph for this activity for today is gonna be our topic sentence. Remember in your writing class, when you develop body paragraphs, the very first sentence is gonna represent the main idea of the entire paragraph. So we call that the topic sentence. So for this particular activity, for this paragraph, I, uh, I think the best way to develop a, body, a topic sentence is to use the information from your interview guide, I think that we did on Tuesday. I think we did the interview guide on Tuesday as we prepared for the interview. And you, sh you guys should have information in this first section that appears at the top of the page. The interviewee, the person that you interviewed, why you chose to interview this person, the date of the interview, um, specific topics that you covered. This is really important and also surprising aspects. These two for me are really important. This is information that you can include in your first sentence, your topic sentence for this paragraph. This will present basically the, the general idea of, uh, of this interview, of this paragraph, All right? And once you complete the first sentence as your topic sentence that comes primarily from this information from your interview guide, then you can go to your uh, yesterday's activity where you have listed out your questions and responses and use that information and bring it into your paragraph for the supporting sentences that link to your topic sentence. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you very much. You're welcome. Any other questions, guys?
No more questions? I have, right, yes, you guys I have one. Okay, go ahead. Uh, we, are, we are going to upload it in comments or when? Uh, the paragraph? Yes. Okay, the paragraph, and this is what I want to try to see if we can do. If we go to the virtual classroom, can you can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay. If you guys go to the virtual classroom under week 11 and you scroll down, you should see a second wiki that's called Reported Speech Consolidated Dress. So if you click on this wiki, this is where we're going to work today. This is where I'd like, if we can do this, uh, this is where I would like for you to add your paragraph. And so from here, this is very similar to what we did yesterday, except this is one wiki. And so this is what I want to see if we can all access this wiki and add our paragraph to this wiki. So for example, you could click on here. You should be able to click on here and go in and let's see here. Okay. So this is the, somebody's already in, in here. So it looks like, all right. So it looks like we're going to have to go in one at a time to do this. So if you want, what we'll do is, let me go back here. All right. It's not going to work. It looks like we can only edit one at a time. So so I'm going to, we're going to change here. I would like for you to upload your paragraph to the same wiki that you, where you worked yesterday. So let's go back. All right. So let's go back here. You go into your individual results and in your individual wiki, click on edit. And above your outline, let's wait till this opens up here. My internet's a little slow right now. All right, so you've got your outline here with your responses. So just bring that down a little bit and then you can begin You can just write your paragraph above your notes here. You can just bring your information that you have from your outline and include it in your own wiki. Okay, so a little a slight change of plans. I'm going to remove the other wiki, and we're going to continue working in the same wiki that you guys worked in yesterday. Okay, and this is where you can draft your paragraph. When you want me to look at your paragraph, let me know. You can uh, send me a, a chat and and. Uh, Microsoft Teams, just to let me know if you if we're outside of class, you want me to look at something, and I'll come in and uh, leave comments. But uh, tomorrow I'll post an assignment where you can upload your paragraph for for an assignment, right? But I'll explain that tomorrow. Today, I would like for you to work here in your same wiki, developing your body paragraph just above your outline that you developed yesterday. Okay, does that? That makes sense. Yes. Okay. Any other questions, guys? I have a question. Okay. Um, in the sentences that we're going to do, the complex sentences, the compound sentences, um, what do we need to to write there? It's going to be like. I don't know, um, opinions about the, the interview. I mean, like we, we, we write the, I don't know, the, the question that we did and then the answer and then, I don't know, a little, a little opinion or something like that. Yes, that's, that's, okay. you can, so there are many different ways that you can organize the three types of sentences that you have, right? So again, you're going to have, 
questions that relate to your indirect, I'm sorry, you're going to have sentences that are going to relate to your indirect questions. You're going to have sentences that relate to the responses, and you're going to have sentences that are going to offer your interpretation, your commenting, your explanation of the responses. Okay. Each of those three types of sentences can be a compound sentence, they can be a complex sentence, they can be a compound complex sentence. All right. But I would like for all the sentences, regardless of the type, to be one of those three types of sentences. Now, the way that you organize your, these three types of sentences, you're probably going to want to post your indirect question before the response. That would be logical, probably, right? You want to pose first the indirect question and then their responses. Now, you can decide if you want to analyze, you want to comment throughout your paragraph, or maybe you want to offer your explanation, your interpretation at the very end of your paragraph, after you have, after you finished with the indirect questions and the responses. This is up to you. You can decide. I basically see two ways that you can develop this paragraph uh, when you're talking about the analysis sentences, the sentences that are, where you're going to offer your interpretation of what this means, what these responses mean, or, or what do you, how do you feel about those responses? Right? You can think of it like that. You can you can discuss how you feel at the very end of your paragraph, or you can discuss how you feel about the responses throughout, little by little, as you present the indirect question and their responses. Right. Does that does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're not going to use reported speech, okay? So don't worry about this. This assignment, we're going to continue only using the interview results. Again, these are the same wikis that you guys worked on yesterday, and you can add your paragraph uh, there. Ben. Yes. Can you put the requirements to in the interview results, please? Yes. Yes, I'll do that right now. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, just give me like one minute and uh, they sh and I'll upload them there. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, I added the instructions now to the individual wikis. They should appear. If they don't, let me know. If you go into underneath the video, you'll see paragraph instructions and the outline instructions. The outline instructions were the instructions from yesterday, and the paragraph instructions are the instructions that I explained here today that we're going to work on for this paragraph. So they should appear now. You may have to refresh your screen if... Uh, since I just uploaded this, so you may have to either sign out, sign back in, or or just refresh your screen. Yeah, it appears. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. If you guys have questions, uh, just unmute your mic and let me know. And uh, just to answer your question, guys, I'm trying to record all these sessions and all these sessions that we've been having. Uh, they can be found in Microsoft Teams. You there's a link there that has a playlist of all of the videos, all of the face-to-face -face classes that we've had since moving to a, an online class. Okay, so if you guys have questions about where to find recordings for all of the sessions that we've had, let me know.
All right, guys, uh, we're getting uh, towards the end of class. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure that you have signed in to the virtual classroom. Uh, the following of you have signed in. Some of you are obviously of this class, but there are some students from Prope B, which is fine too. But do make sure that you're signing in during the normal class period. So I'm looking here in the system. It looks like uh, Nigeli signed in, Wendy, Janet, Danielle, uh, Kim, Marcella, Chris, Lisette, Oscar, uh, Fernanda, Jessica, Jamilka, and Daniela. All right, those are the ones that I see currently at this moment that have signed in to the virtual classroom within this hour. So if I didn't call off your name, make sure that you've signed in and you have class with me at this hour from nine o'clock to 10 o'clock. Remember for attendance purposes, you need to have signed in each day, Monday through Friday between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. for Prope A. Um, so if you were working in the, the wiki, then there's no issue. Um, but if you're not working in the, in the platform, make sure that you're signing in to the platform uh, each day. Any questions, guys, about what we're working on today? And we're going to have uh, tomorrow as well to work on uh, this paragraph. Any questions about uh, these activities? I have a question. OK, go ahead, Jessica. Um, so it doesn't matter that our paragraph um, will be like very long. Mm, no, I mean, how long I do, I guess it depends on how long you, you mean, but uh, no, it doesn't matter if it's, if it's a little bit longer because of the, the compound or complex sentences. Okay. Right? Thank it, you. I mean, you know, I guess it depends on what you mean by too long and, and that's something that we can work on and I can give you some uh, suggestions once I see your uh your your uh, paragraph you know it's possible to write a sentence that's too long so this is where you know it depends on how many clauses that you have but you know you could write a compound sentence that's not all that long it depends on how many phrases that you have and so um you know i guess my question my answer would be it doesn't matter if it's a little bit longer than maybe some of the other paragraphs that we've written but again, maybe it would be better to see your example first, and then I can uh, give you some suggestions about, about length, right? Because the paragraph length, I'm not so much concerned about as I am the sentence length. And so just be very careful with the use of the period, where you place the period, and how many clauses that you have in each of your sentences. Because again, usually, if I ask you to write a compound sentence or a complex sentence or even a compound complex sentence, we're only talking about usually only three clauses at the most. Now, you can have more than three clauses, but, uh, you know, we, I don't, we don't want to have too many clauses. So that's something that we can work on as I, I give you feedback. And, you know, I would try, guys, to write out as much as you can for tomorrow so that I can give you some feedback and you can make uh, your final changes uh, tomorrow for uploading as a grade. Otherwise, uh, you know, if you don't receive any feedback, uh, then, yeah, you're not going to know until I grade it whether or not or you, not. you know, whether you achieved the objective or not, so. All right, Jessica, does that yeah, help? Thank that you. Helps? Okay. Yeah, any other you. questions? Okay, any other questions, guys? And I always sing in Aula Virtual, but I don't know why it don't appear for you. Okay, you were signed in to, let me refresh. Because it, I, let me see here. Uh, okay, I think you're okay now, uh, Claudia. Let me double check here.
Okay, now it appears that you were in three minutes ago. So I don't know exactly where, where were you earlier, just like five minutes ago? Were you in a different mm, part of the platform? It's because I uh, live open in my phone, but I don't know. Yeah, that's strange. Just so you know, Claudio, because uh, just pay close attention to like what you were doing uh, because when when I just like just a few minutes ago when I just read off the list, it showed that you weren't. It had been like almost 24 hours since you were since you had accessed the platform. So just just uh, take note as to you know what you were doing to to get in, so that you're so you know that you're just to make sure that you get into the to the system. So, but you're okay now, Claudia. Okay, thank you. All right. You're welcome. All right, guys, any other questions? Okay, if there are no more questions, then I think we'll stop there for today. Tomorrow, again, we'll continue uh, with this activity to try to finish, uh, hopefully in class. And uh, again, try to complete as much as you can in your individual wiki. You want me to look at something, any anything outside of class, send me a chat in Microsoft Teams. Otherwise, we'll come in and I'll start looking at your work in class if there's if there are no requests for me to give you feedback. And we'll try to finish this for uh, for tomorrow for our assignment for this week. All right. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. See you.